Hey what's up my bros, Ferdy here, I just wanted to inform you that we're gonna be back on track in about a week, my new HD capture card has been shipped from, uh, from Germany and it will be here in around a week and I will start posting HD, uh, 1080p HD in close quarters gameplay, it's gonna be pretty pretty awesome, I'm really hyped, so uh, I want to talk about some shit, first of all guys, there's a double XP uh, whole week coming up from today from the two, uh, 2nd of July for the premium players is from the 2nd of July to the 8th of July and for the non premium is around two and a half de days so it's gonna be from July 2nd to July 4th um, uh, midnight so it's gonna be two two and a half something I really don't know uh, two and a half days yeah I think something like that so yeah if you wanna get some levels guys it's a time to do if you're a premium player you're gonna get it like six seven days so it's pretty awesome in my opinion so after you watch that video go and check out and start playing to get some XP also uh, there's a teaser released for the Halo 4 forward onto John um, live action series on Machinima, there's a link in the description below uh, I will have a lot of uh, links in the description below from now on guys just for your information also um, Capcom released a new Resident Evil 6 gameplay footage for 10 minutes showing Leon Kennedy and Sherry Kennedy or something like that gameplay I, I got uh, it's, it's, uh, it's uh, showing on uh, some Japanese uh, conference I don't know so it's uh, the guy back uh, on the back commentating is Japanese it, it's a little bit annoying but it's around 10 minutes of uh, real gameplay if you're a fan of the series uh, I really liked Resident Evil, Resident Evil 4 so it was pretty legit pretty different and yeah go check it out um, also <clears throat> this gameplay is from uh, before uh, from before the, the latest parts where uh, M26 Dart was OP as shit, as fuck, I, I don't know how to describe it, it's really difficult to describe it but the thing is that I'm using the trustworthy uh, AK-74M this guy, this gun is a sniper man, after the parts, after like the, the uh, change of the foregrip uh, buffing on the weapons, uh, you can slap a flash suppressor and whatever you want it's it's good to go just don't put foregrip this is very important even after the parts don't put foregrip in most of the weapons except for the AK F2000 stuff like that I find it that they lose accuracy in general also I wanted to inform you guys that when my uh, PVR is gonna come I will start and making reviews and tactics and all the stuff that I used to do it's gonna be pretty pretty awesome guys my Capture card is called Aver Media Dark Crystal HD, and if you're wondering why I didn't buy a hog pack, that sniper, man, that sniper. <laughs> you're doing work, man, up there. He just like he killed me and instantly died. Uh, if you're wondering why I didn't buy a hog pack HD PVR, it's because actually the Dark Crystal HD uh, has an HDMI out and not a component cable uh, out with component cables, which is way better. Uh, quality wise and I also uh, checked some vids in the Avermedia Dark Crucial has better quality Hogbog HD PVR um, is still the first like a lot of people use it but uh, there's so much competition now like two years ago there was nothing but uh, right now there's like a, a lot of uh, capture cards that way uh, Avermedia capture cards, Elgato capture cards um, black magic capture cards with, with it, like their HDMI full HD 60 frames per second 1080p shit so it's pretty amazing they're pretty expensive but Hogpuck it's still trustworthy but it's getting old people will stop using it at some point except if Hogpuck like releases a, a beast new HDMI uh, capture card or like something like that I really don't know anyway um, so far, close quarters. I really, I'm really liking it. The spawns on scrap metal, or what's the name of that map? I really don't remember. Are pretty shitty. Like sometimes you spawn, uh, you walk like from uh, to go and capture the point, and, uh, and like uh, a guy spawns in your behind you or something like that. Or you spawn and there's a guy running in front of you or something like that, which is pretty pretty annoying at some points. Uh, but in general, like Donia Fortress, Zimba Tower. Operation 925 have uh, pretty uh, good spawn, so I don't complain there. Um, about the MTAR, 
people like started complaining saying it's OP. I don't think it's really OP. Maybe it's a little bit um you you like you have a little bit of advantage in close quarters but the reload time is like th over 9000 like 3.6 seconds so it's pretty ridiculous also that that sniper over there anyway um yeah seems pretty good long range is shitty um it's not the fama it's not so p as the fama but it's pretty good still pretty a pretty good weapon uh, I kind of use it like for 100 kills or something like that. Spaz seems legit. And yeah, anyway, that was it guys. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. I'm out.